Hey, welcome back guys. I am going to attempt to do neon lights. So we're going to do a hummingbird and a little flower and it's going to hopefully by the end kind of look like neon lights. We shall see. I'm using one of the large flat um, molded stones from the Happy Dotting Company's multi mold. Blah blah, multi mold. <laughs> that is not easy to say. Oh, multi mold from Happy Dotting Company. Don't forget to visit their Etsy shop and purchase. Um, there uh, you can get all sorts of things, not just the multi mold. You can get all sorts of stuff. If you have purchased from Happy Dotting Company, leave in the description what you got and how amazing they are. Um, they have a million things to choose from and it really helps you in your rock painting path. Um, and you get to use my discount code, which is Rachel's Rocks Canada, all one word. And uh, you get 10% off if you spend $10 or more. Um, I am sketching this on here. I did give it three coats of black paint. Three. Uh, I used a sponge. So it's kind of like an even layer. There's no brush strokes. Um, and oh my, look at that flower. We're going to have to fix that afterwards. But uh, the best part about pencil is that it's not here to stay. It's only to uh, sketch out my idea and the paint is what really matters. So, ugh, I still had a hard time with that one. <laughs> um, and I probably will adjust. I have to add another line to the wings. And um, I don't like where the feet are because I feel like they're sticking out of his belly button. <laughs> so, uh, I, I will be moving those. Uh, you'll see that a little bit later. But uh, until then, the the whole the whole idea that I have with this is that you start with three colors and you go light, medium, dark. So I'm going to use my medium color right now. I'm not going to use my light color. I'm not going to use my dark color. I'm going to use, go with the middle ground and use the medium. So you can choose whichever green you want to use as a medium. Um, but you have to make sure that you have a very, 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 very light green, which you can just add a lot of white to this green, uh, and then also have a noticeably darker green than this. So you have to have a lighter and a darker, but this is our middle green right now. All of the stuff I'm doing right now will be the medium color or middle color, um, of each portion. So if I'm doing a pink flower, I'm going to start with medium pink. That's what I'm doing right now is just the middle color, it's not light, not dark, medium. So this is my whole craziness that I've come up with because I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I'm just guessing and I'm trying to see how it turns out. Um, so you guys can let me know in the comments if it looks like it's neon lights when it's done. Um, I love to hear what you think, as long as you're not being completely cruel. Heavens to bitsies, what the heck is wrong with people lately? I have had to deal with some trolls, and I'm sure you might know already. Um, so I just showed you three different shades of blue there, or teal. I'm gonna start with the medium teal that I have. Just going with the mediums right now. So I'm going to let you guys watch me do the mediums. <laughs> um, yeah, I had a few people um, over the last few months that have been super rude, super mean to me on my channel. It's still sticking out of, now they look like they're up in his rib cage. Um, but yeah, usually I just delete the person, hide them from my channel immediately, delete the comment because it hurts my feelings. And it's ridiculous how mean people can be. I'm just painting a rock, darn it. Like, come on. Um, how can you really be that mean? <laughs> but it happens to some of the most sweetest, kindest YouTubers in the whole world. Um, and I follow, like, I, I, don't, I don't watch a lot of 
TV. So I'm usually just YouTube and stuff. You know, I got I go on YouTube and I, I love true crime. I love um, people getting justice and stuff like that. So it keeps me interested. And so I do watch a few true crime channels and there's so many mean people and I don't get it. I don't understand. If you're going to be mean, move all along. And this time, you know, I didn't let it hurt me. I actually had a really fantastic day. Um, but I mean, it was just about me talking too much. I've had people say, you know, I bet you your husband tells you to shut up. You know, it's like they're really super mean and there's no reason for it, honestly. And it wouldn't be Rachel's Rocks videos if it weren't for notifications coming in on my phone. I'm sorry. My son just told me his mark. <laughs> I told him he better message me with his mark and he's doing very well. So, sorry, you guys. You got to hear his notifications. I apologize. Um, anyway, people are just so darn mean. And it's really unnecessary. But um, I've learned over the last little while that, like, especially over 2020, I'll be honest with you, it's been like a not fun time. Um, and, it, you know, I've really had to figure out what I wanted to put my stress on really had to like plan it out better and not stress over everything. Um, and yeah, I'm not letting people like that bother me. So I'm just going to keep talking. I'm going to keep laughing. I'm going to keep bringing you guys some fun tutorials and we'll go from there. Uh, ignore those people. Don't let them bother you either. Um, I have like the most amazing bunch of people here and I love you all so much. Um, it's normally drama free and I just feel very lucky that I have a group of artists or people who uh, admire art or people who just want to sit there and drink every time I giggle, <laughs> play drinking games um, for whatever, it, whenever I put a dot on a rock. Um, but yeah, I, I just want you guys to know you guys have been very supportive of me. You guys are always so kind and loving and I just want everyone to know how much I love them. So I love you all. Thank you very, very much for keeping my channel drama free and for being uh, just like I said on my Facebook page yesterday, rock solid. You guys are seriously rock solid in my heart and just an amazing group of, of people. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all of your support. So I have used medium colors everywhere, and I will list the colors uh, for everything. So the wing, um, the body, the, the beak, the flower, everything will be listed in the description of the video. So make sure you hit the down arrow under your video screen to show you the description of the video. Um, so it is going to take a couple of coats for some of these in order to get a nice bold color. Um, and I'm just going to take my, my fine lining brush and my black paint. I'm sorry that the bottom part of the hummingbird is, is cut off for some reason here. I'm so sorry, you guys. I can't think of everything. <laughs> I, I really can't. Um, I'm kind of adjusting how thick some of my lines are right now. Uh, which you can do when your paint is dry. It's it's easier once it's dry. So, And I'm just making sure that it is the way I want it to be. Um, but you can see right through that, that lavender color. So I'm going to be doing another coat of that. Um, I'm going to be adjusting that wing a little bit more. You'll be able to watch that happen along here. But basically, to put it simply for you, pick your middle color and use... A different color for each part so like I've done with the flower and the center of the flower and the hummingbird um, just use one color for each part and then you just have to lighten and darken that color in the next two rounds of painting so this is a lengthy process you start with this process where you have your picture lined out and then you paint it with all your me medium colors there does that look better his little feeties 
that looks better. Now I've let it dry. I'm fixing my wing a little bit here. Um, but basically you just have to have lighter and darker after you have this. So we did our first step. I've pretty much let my paint dry except for I'm fixing my wing still. But my flower is dry. Um, so I will start over there first when I, when I start with my um, darker green. So I did use one shade of green. Now I'm going darker. And basically... I'm outlining the entire thing. You still want to see that middle green. Don't forget about that middle green. You still want to see it. But I'm outlining. So remember that when you think of thickness of how thick you're going to paint things. I'm outlining it with my darker green. And that kind of brings it to light a little bit, but it's really not quite at that point yet. So like I said, this is a lengthy process. There are three different shades of green going on this stem and these little curly cues. And then there's gonna be three different shades of pink on the pink flower and three different shades of yellow or orange and three different shades of blue and purple. You know what I'm saying. Um, but basically you have to make sure that all three colors are visible. So I'm trying to keep the lining down to a nice fine line with this darker green. And then we're going to be going down the center in a lighter green. And that's what brings it to light. So hopefully what I'm seeing in my mind <laughs> is how you do it. But we will see. So I am using, um, let me just check here for the type of pink that I used, I believe... It was hot pink, that's the medium pink color. And now I'm using magenta with, you know, nothing added to it, it's just simple magenta. And I'm outlining it as if I were outlining it with gold. Instead, I'm outlining it with darker pink. And it's already on a black surface, so we don't have to outline it with black, except for where it touches other bits of of parts. So if it's touching the hummingbird, you want to outline around the hummingbird's beak so that it doesn't like mingle in with that green <laughs> or the stem with the flower or the wing with the bird. You'll understand. You'll see where I outline everything um, later on because that's one of the last steps. So I'm going to continue to just outline everything the best I can. And if I find that I've kind of swallowed up the medium color with the dark color, I can go back over that once it's dry and uh, make sure that you can still see that, that medium color. So my medium color was moon yellow and I'm using pumpkin orange for my dark, my darker color. And then I'm going to lighten my moon yellow with white in order to get the, uh, the lighter color. So that's all you need to do really is even if you don't have a, a, a huge selection of paint, um, you can use white to lighten and darken or lighten colors that you want lightened. And then you can just use uh, darker colors and uh, work from there. So it's completely up to you. Now I'm using like a lab, a light lavender color for my medium and then a uh, dark perfect purple is my outer color. So I'm outlining everything with my perfect purple anywhere that I had purple. And I used, I have to find the color again for my blue, the blue parts. I used medium blue for my medium color. Isn't that strange? <laughs> and then I used col cobalt hue. Gosh, that's hard to say. Cobalt hue. Um, that, that goes, it, that's the darker color for my medium blue. And I use jungle green for the body on the hummingbird. So everything, like I said, will be listed in the description of the video. And I'll even list the parts that I used those paint colors on just for you so that you don't have to worry about that. Uh, and you definitely don't have to use the same colors that I'm using. Um, just keep in mind you need three shades 
for that for each color that you're using so it does get complicated and you have to be careful what you're painting because you know it can't be too fine if you're going to be outlining little bits and pieces with a darker shade so keep in mind what you're painting I tried to keep this one as simple as possible I, I want us all to be able to try it you can say I love you on a rock and make it neon um, you can do uh, whatever you want your name in neon and then do dots around it it's completely up to you um, but if it kind of looks like I've created something neon today then that means I'm kind of teaching you how to create something neon so <laughs> give it a try let me know what you think of it in the comments and uh, we'll go from there I do resin this one at the end of the video so uh, we'll wait for that hopefully uh, there will be some kind of neon light effect going on by that time, but we'll see. Uh, I hope everyone is well. Uh, make sure that you are still subscribed to my channel. I know you're probably still a fan and you're still here watching, but you may have been unsubscribed accidentally by YouTube bots, YouTube robots. Um, I've noticed a few different YouTube creators over the last year who are like, uh, a lot of people have came to me saying they're not subscribed anymore and they didn't unsubscribe themselves. So make sure you're still subscribed. Make sure that you click the uh, bell and select all so that you get all notifications of anything that I'm putting on my channel. That way you don't miss out the second I decide to put a tutorial up. Um, I've done an orange eye, but I'm going to be adding the moon yellow dot and then a light moon yellow dot on top of that to make it also lit up. So I'm using a very, very light green. It's a very light. And if it doesn't seem light enough, just add some white because it's supposed to, if you look back a bit, it's supposed to be kind of like, whoa, this might actually look like it's lighting up a little bit. Um, this is called Sand Bucket Green. And um, it looks really cool when it's done. And I feel like it does kind of light up a little bit. So if you know what neon lights look like, maybe if you squint a little bit, this might look like neon lights to you as well. Uh, I'm going to use some baby pink in the... Uh, center here of the the uh, pink flower and like I said I'm just going to lighten my moon yellow um, until it's almost white to be honest and uh, brighten up the center of that flower as well. If you watch this in the high speed version that I put on my Facebook page uh, with music through TikTok you might think it it actually looks like it's lit up at the end because it goes so quickly. It's just like, bam, it's lit up. <laughs> it looked pretty cool though. Um, but I hope you guys are able to create something really cool with this. And kids, kids can do this. It's fun. Uh, so get your kids or your grandkids out and get painting. Give them some art therapy, some fun, um, and show them that they have talent. That's what's cool about it. So it is almost complete. I'm going to use some lightened medium blue. I just added white to my medium blue for that nice bright, bright blue. Now I've lightened my light lavender for the wing. And I wasn't happy with the light on the uh, teal color. So I actually added some white to my lightest teal and brightened it up more because it just wasn't wasn't lighting up for me as much as what I wanted it to. Um, now you can also, along your light lines, you can add glow-in-the-dark paint so that when you turn the lights off, um, you actually see it glowing as well. And if you have really good uh, glow-in-the-dark paint that actually has color to it, that's even better. So kind of looks like it's still lit up during the day but at night boom it's glowing <laughs> so there's just a little idea for you if you want to add an extra little 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 bit of special 
to your uh, neon light rocks. So let me know what you're going to do in neon if this seemed fun. If you can do thicker letters and stuff like that, um, and you can really see like the, the, the three different shades, it, it looks a lot better. But because I'm trying to fit like a lot onto this rock, um, I couldn't do my lines very thick. But if you can do thicker lines, this technique does seem to look a lot better. Just another little tip. I'm giving you tips for free because I love you guys. <laughs> so I have um, taken the black and outlined everything that needed to be outlined there. And now we're going to see it shiny. Oh, that looks lit up to me, you guys. I don't know. And I don't even have a light on this. This is just sitting on my black chair. <laughs> um, so that looks lit up to me. Please let me know what you think, guys. I appreciate all of your uh, beautiful comments. As long as you're being kind. Don't be mean to anybody. Don't be mean. I love you guys. Please keep painting. I have another one coming. Um, to get you in the mood for more spring. And uh, I just want to make sure that uh, you guys know how much I appreciate every single one of you. If I didn't already say it. <laughs> what do you think, guys? It's so bright. Pretty. I want to add golden glitter to it, but I won't. <gasps> Bye, guys.